get your license. Oh, man. Oh, excuse, oh, me, my brother. excuse me, my brother. Excuse me. You want to watch where the hell you going, Wesley? I want to know about how you for, man. You know, as long as your feet can touch the pedal, that's all that matters. Now, look here, you missed the question here. Have you ever had any accidents? Uh, yeah, yeah, today. today. I accidentally brought my ass to the DMV. <laughs> Oh, funny as hell, man. What's up, G? Nothing. Chilling. How are you? Can't complain. What's up with the girly decorations? Uh, my girl be over here and she decorated a little bit. Oh, okay. So I won't clown you. You jealous? Just say that. <laughs> Never. But I investigated finding Maverick for you. Okay, bet. What you got? So, he got a spot on the south side on Park Avenue. But he doesn't stay there long, though, I noticed. That's probably just his safe house. He might have another location we just don't know about yet. Right. He's been stalking Faith, too. He'll watch her from afar, but doesn't approach her. I don't know. When I took her to the brunch bar, she ran out of the bathroom scared shitless. Looking back, I think he was there, and I should have checked. Hmm. And you said he used to hit her. Yeah, man, I'm trying to see why he back around. I'm trying to figure out his pattern, but I'm not waiting too long. I will watch your back, because if he's watching her, I know he's got eyes on you. I know. I'm ready for whatever happens. I just want Faith to be safe, you know? Love him, you know? I get it. Well, if you want to pull up on them, you got the location. Leave faithless with somebody like this. I should beat his ass right now. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, somebody's coming. What's up, boss? Hold up, is that Dorian? So, I have updates for you, but I don't think you're going to like them. I don't need your opinion. Just tell me what I need to know. I would watch out for Dre if I were you. He and Trey are plotting. Ha! They coming for me? <laughs> Please, I'm not worried. I mean, what are you going to do? It's only a matter of time. <sighs> Let me go smoke. Gotta move closer. So Dre wants to do what now? I don't know. He didn't say specifically. So why are you even telling me if you have no information? Oh, he said was that he wanted to find out more about you and then act. Okay. All right, don't take what I'm saying seriously. He's gonna find you and make you pay for what you did to Faith. <laughs> like I said, I'm not worried. When he comes, I'll be waiting. Word on the street is that Faith is having a fashion show. 
If you want to be a step ahead, I will make a move then. Hmm. Okay. I like where this is headed. You might not be so useless after all. Remember the girl we took the hit on? Well, it seems like Trey got a thing for her. And if he knew you helped plan her accident. I don't care if Trey finds out. I'll tell him myself. When I do, I'll tell him it was a pleasure hurting someone he loves. Just like he did me. I gotta tell Trey. Did you hear that? The birds? No, stupid. I heard rustling in the bushes. Stay here. She was probably just being friendly. Friendly my ass. <laughs> okay, Faith. Oh, and I didn't tell you. I had to evacuate my apartment because they had a rat infestation. A rat infestation? That building is supposed to be the best. Right. But I got something bigger, so... That's good. But, friend, I'm stressed out. You know the fashion show I have coming up? Yeah. Well, I have to figure out the order of the clothing collections, the performance, my entrance, my speeches, models, lights, decor. <sighs> and I see why people have coordinators. I know it's a lot for one person, but Dre got the venue, so I'm sure he has the decorations and lights covered. Anything else you need, tell him, because you'll know he'll jump to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. So what are you up to? How's you and Jonathan? We're good. I apologized for my behavior and we just talked everything out. Aw, my favorite couple made up. Today, I'm painting my toes and getting ready to go out. Ooh, where are you going? I'm not sure. Trey said it's an outdoor restaurant. Oh, that's nice. That... Oh, wait a minute. Trey? Trey's friend? Yeah, him. What are you doing with him? Nothing. It's just a harmless outing with a friend. I don't know, girl. It's nothing. We're just getting lunch and he's... Oh, someone's at the door. Okay, love you, bye. Sierra, I know you're not about to... I should really get a restraining order against you. What are you doing at my house? Listen, Sierra, I wanted to talk to you woman to woman. Woman to woman? You almost tried to kill me. I know that sounds bad, but if you just let me explain, it was just a misunderstanding. You want to tell me it sounds bad? The fact that I had to wake up in the hospital bruised and busted up, bleeding and finding out I had to give birth to a dead baby? Oh, please explain the misunderstanding. Look, I'm not here to argue with you. I didn't want this to go as far as it did, but you forced my hand. Do you hear how crazy you sound? You tried to kill me and ruin my marriage all because of what? To prove that you don't deserve him and he should be with me. If it weren't for you taking him from me, it wouldn't have happened. <sighs> I'm sorry. Everyone in college knew you were passed around. Faith and I only became your friends because you felt sorry for you. It's not my fault John didn't want to turn a hoe into a housewife. How can you say that? I said I was sorry. What more do you want? Sorry? You were never sorry. I heard everything you said. You showed your true psychotic colors and I will never forgive you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have somewhere to be and I never want to see your face again. You want to talk about me, but looks like you'll ruin your marriage all on your own. I've seen the way Trey looks at you. It'd be a shame if John caught you doing something with him. You're probably on the way to see him now. You truly belong in the psych ward. <laughs> now, like I said, get off my property.
Okay, so if I have the model show the summer collection first. Nah. Oh, okay. How about I have the performance first, then do spring and summer collection. Now I must factor in my entrance and speeches. <sighs> Planning a whole fashion show is stressing me out. I think I should take a nap. <sighs> of course, someone decides to bother me when I get comfortable. Who is at my door? Who is it? Hello? I don't have time for pranks. <laughs> What's up, beautiful? Why are you always messing with me? Because <laughs> uh, it's funny. Well, my boyfriend wouldn't like that, so... Well, he's not here, so... You look good, babe. Let me take you to the bedroom real quick. Well, I want you to... But, after I finish my work. What you got going on? I do have a fashion show in like a week. Oh yeah, how that's going? The venue is ready to go and the models, so all you gotta do is bring your clothes. Right. So now I'm just finalizing the overall structure, and you pick the models. I mean, I just put out a casting call on the gram and filtered through who would be a good fit. Oh, uh, did Noel put you up to this? <laughs> Ain't nobody thinking about her. I just needed her for that one thing. I'm giving you one less thing to worry about. Mm-hmm. Oh, stop it. You know you're my baby. <laughs> I know, but I'm excited. I'm excited for you. And question, when did you move to another apartment? Oh, yeah. My landlord had to relocate me due to a rat infestation. What? Man, that's crazy. Luckily, I didn't have to pay anything. And this place is bigger, so I can't complain all the way. <laughs> well, speaking of moving, did you think about what I said? Yeah, I did. And I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Because all this could have been avoided if you just came with me. What's the problem? Thought you wanted to move in with me. It's just that I don't want to rush things with you. I obviously like you a lot, and I don't want to ruin it. Ruin it how? I've been nothing but patient and understanding with you. You have, but you also need to understand that I still need time. I've been through a lot, and, and you know that. Okay, but I'm not him, Faith. How long are you going to keep this wall up with me? You can't stand here and rush me. You think I want to put myself in the same situation? You see, and there's your problem. You keep comparing me to that nigga. I prove to you time and time again that I love you. I told you that shit the other day. You ain't even say it back. The fact that you're standing here getting mad at me because I don't want to move in with you yet, it's beyond me. I have opened up to you in so many ways, more than I ever thought I could. So you need time for what? To trust me? Dre, I love you, but... Nah, I don't want to hear that. I did all this shit for you and... Silly me for giving all my love to someone who's still stuck in the past. Any girl love that me. Yeah, that's pretty clear. And you worry about females that don't even excite me. Stop being so insecure. I... I think we should give each other space. Baby, I ain't mean that. You did. Just go. So, this is the house for you and your new bitch, huh? <laughs> Yo, first of all, you know I have more than one house. Secondly, what is your problem? Why would you be with me? 
I mean, I know what I did in the past was wrong, but I miss you, Trey. Janae, you have somebody else, so what are you crying for? Can you just think about my feeling for one second? I love you, Trey. I want a family with you. I, I want to go old with you. I'm tired of having this discussion. I mean, did you consider my feelings when you left? No, you didn't. You were selfish. Trey, come on. How can you throw away all of these years? The same way you can. <sighs> Look, I don't know what else you want me to do. Oh, you're not even listening to me. I don't want to, and you're starting to sound desperate. So I suggest you go home to your family. No! Janae, we're done here. All right? You were the love of my life at one point, yes. But you are not going to barge back in and expect me to love you again. I'm not doing it. I'm moving on. Aren't you going to get that? Hey, are you ready to go? <laughs> you look nice. Thank you. So do you. <clears throat> Did I come at a bad time? Um, no. You came at the right time. Oh, wait a minute. You're the same girl we ran into at the store. And you're the same girl who's laid up with my men. <laughs> this makes two crazy people I've talked to today. Excuse me? You heard me. I don't have any more time for this today, so you can argue with him all you want. Hmm. So this is what you like, Trey? Oh. I guess I didn't notice it before, but... Looks like you wish you were. Go be a homeworker somewhere else. Okay? <sighs> okay. This is what we're not gonna do. It is very clear Trey doesn't want you, or else I wouldn't be standing here. You look stupid fighting for someone who is clearly done with you. How can I wreck something that's not even together? At least I have both of my children. <laughs> something you wish you had. Okay, Janae, that's enough. Get out of my house, or I'm gonna throw you out. <laughs> it's crazy how you pick someone you've known for five minutes over me. This is an over, bitch. Yeah, I've heard that before. Whatever's going on between you two, kindly leave me out of it. You see for yourself I don't want anything to do with her. I'm sorry she said that to you. That was a low blow. <sighs> Can we just go? Okay. I will make it up to you. I have to go to this meeting. Just stay in the car. What took you so long? We can't afford to make a bad impression. I got held up with Janae's crazy ass. Come on, let's go. And who's that in the car? We have a meeting to go to. Man, what you doing now? State your business. Zeros and ones. Access granted. Proceed downstairs. We supposed to be talking to. I think his name is Jaden or something. Nah, it's Cam.
can't be him. I can't be what? Can I help you? I'm here to talk to Jaden, and clearly, you're not him. I'm his second in command, so you can answer me. Key word, second. How about you? Hey, is that how you talk to our guest? Lucky, why don't you go upstairs and keep an eye on things? You must be Trey. I am. And this is my partner, Dre. I know. You two are quite known. You ready to talk negotiations? Yeah. Let's have a seat. So... I understand you want to work with my organization. I think we will add tremendous value to your business. And together we could be unstoppable. Hmm. How so? What makes you so valuable? Well, every year we experience an increase in trend in sales and clientele. And we progressively reach more clients over time. And needless to say, our clients are our best marketers. So when people hear about us, they know we provide top line products. Also, since we cover most of the south and the east region, we're looking to expand up north, and that's where you come into play. Okay, so what you're saying is you want to come into my space and take my clients? Respectfully, we're working together, not against. Okay, here's what we'll do. Because I know you, as a trial run, I want 20% of all profits made. I think it should be 15%. I think I'm being generous. You take my 20% offer? Or you can forget about this whole deal. 20% it is. Glad we can come to an agreement. Now, I don't charge interest, so when I say I want my money, I want my money. Well, you're not going to like the consequences. Got it? Deal. All right, next week, we need to have a team meeting to go over some changes. I don't know, I still think 20% is kind of high from someone we never work with. I mean, he was being generous. <laughs> he could have said 30 to 40%. All right, before we have this team meeting, we need to talk about Dorian. Can we do this later? I have something planned with someone. If you're talking about that girl in the car, she can wait. She's not just some random chick. We went to go see her in the hospital a few months back. Oh, face friend? But wait, ain't she married? What I gotta tell you is more important. <sighs> what is it, Dre? Dorian is literally working with your enemy, and he is responsible for getting her into that accident. So if you stop and let me explain, we can come up with a plan. But your head is stuck up your ass. Dre, you're my brother, and I respect you. I'm not going to argue with you right now, all right? We'll talk about this tomorrow. Okay, I think I'll make spaghetti tonight. It's quick and easy. I think I should make garlic bread. Hmm, I was not expecting company. here. 
啊